Hi, Ravi here. Today I'm working on Mitsubishi Minicab. Very very low power and barely run. Customer complaints sometimes get the power, sometimes loss. These symptoms are clearly indication of bad fuel pump. However, we diagnose it first. Hook up the scan tool and look for the codes and basic data. No check engine light indication on the dash, but let's look any code is present. Just a one fault code is present. PO170 abnormal fuel system. It means fuel delivery issue might be the bad fuel pump. Let's pull the live data to see what's going on. I just select here engine speed, injector pulse, short and long term fuel trim data. Look here, very high positive fuel trim indicate lean condition. Short trim goes over 20% and long trim goes over 14%. Okay, I go to the graph mode. Continuously high fuel trim at ID. If we add short and long trims together, it indicate over 30% of total fuel trim. Too high. Just rave it up and check what happened to fuel trim. Look fuel trim drop. But return to high fuel trim again when return to ID. Ok I rave it up again. Look, short trim goes more higher. That indicate definitely fuel delivery issue. If short trims are positively way high at idle as well as snap throttle, that is clear indication of fuel delivery issue. Let's check the fuel pressure. Okay, I hooked up the fuel pressure gauge to the rail line. Just crank and see the fuel pressure. It is not going over 20 psi. It should have at least over 35 psi of fuel pressure to keep the engine run properly. Clear fuel delivery issue but needs several other tests to determine where is the problem exactly. It could be fuel pump, fuel filter or bad fuel pump relay. So I hook up the scope to see the fuel pump current drawing pattern. Just hook the low amp clamp around the fuel pump B plus and same time check the voltage at fuel pump connector shocker to see any voltage drop on positive and ground side. You can see the battery voltage on the multimeter, no voltage drop. Here you can see the current drop pattern. This current drop pattern looks weird. Let's analyze it closely to get an idea. No voltage drop is shown on the multimeter that indicate no problem in fuel pump relay or wire harness as we measured very close to the fuel pump. This current drop pattern will reveal what is the exact cause. Let's closely look at it. First I record the waveform. Let's take some measurements. First check what is average amp draw of the waveform. It is around 1.8 amps. Very low amp draw. This type of normal pump should draw 3 amps about as average. Let's check what is the peak amp draw. It is about 2.4 amps. Clear. The pump motor draw low amps. Ok, zoom in the waveform. This is look like a weird pattern for the fuel pump current draw. Isn't it? You can see a big amp draw breakdown in a uniform pattern. That is not something to worry. If you saw such a pattern in fuel pump current draw, it reveals that this fuel pump is duty cycle controlled. That is pretty consistent.
Okay, zoom in for more details. Those individual humps you are seeing now represent current drawing and collapsing when brushes pass each commutator segments in the fuel pump motor. This should be a more consistent pattern. But in this waveform, those humps are very inconsistent which indicate worn fuel pump motor. Look, these humps are collapsed very low. Ok, let's calculate the fuel pump RPM using this waveform. As shown in the above picture, there are 8 segments on the commutator. So we will measure the time consumption between 8 segments. Here I put cursors between 8 segments from the first one. Take the frequency value between 8 segments and multiply it by 64 calculate the RPM. Frequency equal to revolution per second. Frequency is 133 Hz here. It is 7980 RPM. So RPM is quite normal here but clear, low and inconsistent amp draw indicate worn fuel pump which fail to build up enough pressure. Confirmed, this truck need a fuel pump. Diagnosis in right way, we were able to get right direction and find the exact fault. So here I am going to replace the fuel pump. We would have to replace the pump with the basic symptoms. But if it was a misdiagnosis, then cost will be on customer. So always better to diagnose it right way. Ok, replace the fuel pump off camera. Let's check fuel pressure first. Crank it over and here you can see fuel pressure goes over 40 psi. Now this truck run fine. Let's check fuel trim data. Look at the graphs. Short trims goes to minus but long trim still indicate positive. It means fuel trims are compensating. The total trim will be around minus 1 here which is very good. We will check fuel trim at high RPM. It is same still compensating but total trim is around minus 1. It will take few miles drive to relearn the fuel trims and be around 0. This car is fixed. Thank you for watching.